Hello and welcome to this how-to video from the Blue Prism University. My name is Leona Vanderhoof and this is a short how-to video on changing the language and navigating the hub. The hub can be conceptually thought of as an empty bucket or an application and that bucket or application can be filled by different items which are referred to as plugins. Plugins often require an additional license key and permissions for access are granted by your hub administrator. Plugin examples, some of which you might be familiar with, are the Automation Lifecycle Management plugin, Interact, Decision and the Control Room. When you open your login page for the hub, you will see the default language is on the top right of the screen. This language is the most compatible with the language settings from your browser. You can change this language by using the drop-down list. Supported languages are English, French, German, Japanese, Spanish, Latin American and Simplified Chinese. If your language is not supported, English is the default. After you log into the hub, depending on what you have installed, you may see additional tiles to select. For the purposes of this demo, we will select the hub tile only. You will see the default display is a blank hub dashboard. This is the same if you are a hub administrator or a standard hub user. The dashboard is a place where you can configure visualizations around some of your key metrics. On the left hand pane is the plugin navigation. We can expand to see all the plugins that are available. In this instance, we can see we have the Automation Lifecycle, Interact, Control Room and the Decision plugins available to us. Plugins are an optional service and some are free, but all require an additional license key to be available to use. Your hub administrator can give you access to the plugins once a license has been obtained. Clicking these headings will reveal the tiles for each plugin and can be accessed by clicking on them. Depending on the permissions will determine what you might be able to do within each of these plugins. A special mention will go to the Control Room plugin. This is an optional service that is free. It is compatible with Blue Prism 7 or later and requires the Blue Prism API. If you want to see all the plugins that are available, click the heading Plugins. You might also be able to download plugins from here, but you will need a license for them to be used. Also in this area, you have access to the online help, a logout button, and the version of the hub you are currently using. And lastly is the settings. This is accessed by the prism positioned at the top left of the screen. Here you'll be able to change some of the core settings of your hub environment, including your profile settings. There is also platform and user management options, but what you see in here will depend on your hub role and your permissions. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more about the hub or any other Blue Prism products, please visit the Blue Prism University via the link in the description below. Also visit the Blue Prism University community to get support from other members and participate in various discussions via the link in the description below.